Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm very excited because I have the entire DVA Crazy Horse collection in front of you and I'm gonna be talking about all of them. Here are my two new ones. So this is my new pair of DVA Nomad boots in Nero Crazy Horse. Here we have the DVA Nomad boots in Espresso Crazy Horse. Some like to pronounce it Espresso. I pronounce it both ways depending on the audience. And, <laughs> and here is the Forest Crazy Horse Nomad Boot. All three are absolutely out of this world, great additions to the DVA collection. I am actually quite proud to see DVA expanding their collection. I see a lot of boot brands do this. They start out with like three basic offerings and then they expand and they keep expanding and it's, it's really exciting to see. And so in this case, DVA has added three new boots and in my opinion, these are the highest quality ones that they have run yet by far. My favorite of the three, of course, is gonna be the Forest Crazy Horse. I'm just a sucker for green boots. I'm a green boot fiend. Followed by the Espresso. I really like this Espresso brown color. It's a really nice chocolate, dark tobacco, coffee ground sort of a, a color. So super nice there. And then the Nero, obviously self-explanatory. These are an all blacked out pair, very similar to the Antique black ones that DVA also is running on their site. This antique black is part of their R&D collection and so for that reason this is going to be discounted by quite a bit. I believe they're around $90 since they are R&D. So the antique black is going to have sort of like a ghosted out appearance whereas the Nero Crazy Horse is going to be a lot more charcoal in appearance. They call these charcoal on the websites. They're going to be a lot darker. They're going to be a lot more fully blacked out compared to the antique black here. Yeah, on the uh, DVA box, it described this color as Nero. However, it appears that they changed the color on the website to charcoal. So more exciting news. They actually changed the pricing on their Nomad boots from $190 to $170. So they did drop their prices a little bit, which is great. My code ARROW40 is valid for $40 off any pair of boots on the website. So I will leave that in the description below. You can use that promo code on any boot that you'd like on their website. So let me read a little bit about this Nomad Crazy Horse boot. Designed to be lightweight and flexible while handcrafted with meticulous attention to detail, our boots feature a polyurethane sole with slip and oil resistant properties. Made from natural leather, the midsole and 360 degree Goodyear welt provides a robust foundation, ensuring long lasting wear. Enhanced with a leather-like natural cork footbed, you're assured a soft cushion at every step. So the upper is Crazy Horse Leather. It's a true mock toe, 360 degree Goodyear welt with a Vaquetta leather midsole. Ooh, that, I think that's an improvement, the Vaquetta. Yeah, Vaquetta is, that's a very high quality midsole. It's lined with leather. It's got a leather insole, natural cork footbed, lightweight oil and slip resistant soles, waxed cotton laces. The sizing on their website, it does say that they run true to size. I agree, these do seem to be true to size in relation to some of my other boots. For example, they seem to be a half size smaller than my Alden True Balance. However, I do still prefer to go down the half side, mostly because these uppers are so forgiving and not to mention the volume on the inside it's pretty generous so I like going down that half size however I could see if your Alden True Balance is sort of sort of snug and or you wouldn't be able to size down in the Alden True Balance uh, then go up a half size from whatever that is so for example my Alden True Balance is pretty generous at an eight and a half so these are perfect glove like fit at eight and a half so Keep that in mind. I like the half down. I tried the size nine. I'm a nine Brannock. I tried the size nine. They're just a little bit generous. Like I said, this last that these are built on, good amount of volume in here. Not a lot. I wouldn't I wouldn't characterize it as a lot of volume, but it's a it's a decent amount of volume. So, you know, if this was a low volume shoe like a dress shoe, I'd be like, give me the true to size. Give me the nines. But because we have sort of raised walls here, it just makes it, it just feels more natural. Once again, the uppers themselves do have a bearing on how the boot fits. These uppers are very soft tempered. A lot of my boots are very firm temper, meaning if I size too small, there's no stretching that out. 
my foot is basically fighting against the walls of the boot at all times. So these boots with the lining are six ounces thick. That's pretty thin, so it's probably three and a half ounces on the crazy horse, two and a half ounces on the lining, something of that nature. So about six ounces in thickness. And then I'll just contrast that with my Grant Stones, uh, eight ounces in thickness. So the Grant Stones are eight ounces with the lining, DVA's six ounces with lining. So that's probably gonna be consistent with my Aldens and other American-made Goodyear welted boots. Um, the other thing that I, I wanted to say about these boots is I have been noticing some trolls in my comments sort of coming at me. These are a lower price point boot. Um, I do compare them to Thursday boots in terms of quality. I like these boots, I really do, I'm not lying. I, I like. I do like them. So everybody's at a different place in their boot journey and I'm, I'm trying to evaluate and review boots that are for everybody along wherever they're at in the journey. Some people are beginners, some people are advanced collectors, and uh, the, this is a beginner boot. This is an entry-level boot, and they are phenomenal entry-level boots. For the price, you are getting a hell of a Goodyear welted boot. You go to the mall, and you see that anything at this price point for 170 and below at the mall is gonna be bond welted, glued together, leather board all throughout. You're not gonna have full grain leather. This has full grain leather. When you compare these to like the stuff at the mall for the same price, these are a hell of an upgrade. And so for that reason, I, I like to use the snob analogy, right? Like the beer snob analogy. I, I have friends that they get all into the small batch, the artisan IPAs, the artisan brews, the really, exotic stuff, the oatmeal stouts, the chocolate stouts, all these crazy beers that are absolutely delicious. They're thick, they're heavy, they're, you know, they're like a meal. They're super robust beers. But all my friends that are super into like really high-end beers, you know what? For the sake of nostalgia and for the sake of simplicity, they like to knock back a Bud Light or a Miller Light or something like that. You know, so even for advanced collectors, you know, something at a lower price point can still be enjoyed. I just kind of wanted to address the trolling because it seems like, you know, a lot of people are comparing how I've evaluated other brands like Nix, White's, Viberg, Grant Stone, Alden. They now see that I'm evaluating a more affordable boot and they think that somehow, you know, I've reduced my standards. That isn't true. I can, I'll review any boot, you know, as long as I think it's worthy, as long as I like it, I will review any boot. Um, there's still a lot of boot brands that I have yet to review. In fact, I'm very th thankful and very blessed that a lot of my friends recently have reached out and offered to just send me boots of theirs to review. I think that's super cool. I love it. I love boots. I would say if you're a college kid and you're not making a lot of money right now and you're taking out loans to go to school and you can't afford a super expensive boot like Alden. In fact, speaking of expensive boots, I was just on the J. Crew site the other day and I saw a pair of Alden snuff suede loafers for $700. You know, I remember seven years ago, those would have been 500 bucks and even then that would have been a splurge. $700 for suede loafers from Alden. So put that into perspective. So stuff seems to be getting more expensive out there and so not everybody has those means. I'm just trying to honestly just offer options to everybody who are interested in boots and who want to enjoy good boots. This is definitely something, you know, for the entry level buyer. And uh, I would say that if you like Thursday, which I do like Thursday a lot, I've tried a couple of their boots, absolutely blown away by what you're getting for the money. Uh, these for 170, not to mention with the promo code, absolute steal. With that, I hope to open the discussion up to you all. What do you guys think of the new brand DVA? I am very excited for them. Uh, Gustavo, I've been talking to him a lot lately. He's a great dude, super friendly, super kind. In fact, uh, Gustavo and Christian Daniel of Christian Daniel Boots uh, have gotten together recently. And so this is a community, you know, when we're building a community, we're growing a community. And uh, that's, that's what I love about it. It's not just about the boots, it's about the people you meet along the way. I would also say that if you're into the DVAs, keep a close eye out because it seems that they're gonna be releasing some new drops here shortly. I believe a Chelsea and maybe some other new things, which is very exciting. Can't wait to see what they do next. These guys are entrepreneurs and they're really hitting the ground running and 
I love to see it happen. So I want to see all these young entrepreneurs succeed, you know, from DVA to Parkhurst to Grant Stone, all these, all these guys, the DVAs are made in Mexico. And so you, you are saving some money there with the made in Mexico model. Also all these leathers, I believe are from Lafarc Tannery. Yeah, just keep that in mind. Lafarc Tannery is making all kinds of leather these days and it's all really nice stuff. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Let's keep the love of boots alive. I will see y'all in my next video.